Now we're going to add the finishing touches on our bottle cap design. You don't want to add too much, but I think there's just a little bit of something extra with all this stuff going on that we can add to really complete the design. So, one of the great things about Inkscape is that you have access within the program to the Open Clip Art Library. So if I click on Import, I can search for any number of different graphics and get previews of them. They're all vectors, so you can import them within your image itself, um, to any, what, no matter what it is that you're creating. Um, so you get a little preview here. Some of the images are really weird, some of them are really cool. I kind of like this bolt here. Let's see how that looks on our design. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out on the selection. Shrink it on down to bottle cap size. It's way too big right now. Try and place it on our page. Zoom in on our page. And keep shrinking. Let's see how that looks. Hmm, you know, it's not really working for me. I can change the color of it to see if that works any better. But it's just too small. It's too narrow a graphic for the space that I'm trying to fill here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and try something else. I'm going to go over here to the various drawing tools and choose on draw a polygon or a star. I'm going to make sure the star is clicked. You can control the number of corners as well as the spoke ratio here and click and drag and see what we get here. There. Move it on over to the design. Start shrinking it a little bit. It's still a little bit big. Huh, that looks pretty nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the spoke ratio here. I've got a skinny star. What if we had a fatter star? Nope, that's making it skinnier. Oh, that's too fat. And that's just right. Cool. Now I like the yellow color here because it's really bringing out Tully's eyes. But what if I wanted that star to match Tully's eyes directly? If I go over here to the rest of my tools that you can't see, I'm going to click on Dropper. Um, again, that's clicking on Dropper. With my star selected, I can click on any color in this design and it will copy that color for my star. So I'm going to try and find a nice rich yellow here. Mm, that's too dark. That's pretty nice. There. Now that's a rich kind of golden yellow. And let's go ahead and give it a black stroke. I'm going to click on the black here while holding down shift. Ooh, there we go. Now it's really popping. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that because I like the way that looks. I don't have to do it from scratch again. I'll just copy and paste it and bring it on over to the other side and see how that looks. It's looking a little bit too matchy. So what if we rotate it a little bit so it has this more random look? Cool. I'm liking this. Okay, so now that we are done with our bottle cap design, we need to do a couple of quick things first. I'm at zoom 438% here. Does my cap work at 100%, which is closer to life size? And that's a little bit smaller than a bottle cap will actually be. It's a little bit more like 115, something like that. Yes, I like that. Everything works. No element is too small. Everything communicates clearly. And Tully is taking center stage. So let's go ahead and export this design. I make sure to export the page and choose exactly where I want to save it on my computer and I hit export. I'm going to go ahead and replace it since this is my final version. And now I'm ready to upload this bottle cap design on bottlemark.com, order, and in a week or two you will get your custom bottle cap.